In this figure we have two identical circles and two angles that have exactly the same measure. We are given the radius of each circle, which is 8.6 units, the distance between the circles is 8.2 units, and the total horizontal distance is 45.7 units. We need to find angle theta. So let's start by analyzing one part of this figure. Here we have a circle and a point that is outside of the circle. From this point we can say that we have two tangent lines, one touching the circle at this point and another one at this point. If we connect the center of the circle with one of these points, for example with this one, then this line segment will be perpendicular to the tangent. So here we have it and we can do the same to the other circle. Now to be able to solve the problem and find theta, we need to know the following principle. If we have a point outside of a circle and from this point we have two tangent lines and if we connect this point with the center, then this line segment will split this angle into two equal angles. So here we have the line segment and now angle theta is split into two equal angles and we see also a right triangle formed. Again, in this right triangle, this angle is half of angle theta and we can call it theta over 2. Now, in this right triangle, the right side is 8.6 units because this is the radius and we can find the bottom side of this triangle by subtracting these three numbers from 45.7 and dividing the result by 2. So again, the horizontal distance here is 45.7 and if we subtract these three numbers, we will get this length plus this length. And if we divide this result by 2, we will get the length of the bottom side of this triangle. So then 45.7 minus 8.6 minus 8.2 and minus 8.6 all divided by 2 equals 10.2. 15. So then this side of the triangle is 10.15. Now if we know two sides in a right triangle, we can use trigonometric functions to find the missing angle. For this angle, the side that measures 8.6 units is the opposite side and the side that measures 10.15 units is the adjacent side. Therefore, to find this angle, we need to use the tangent function because tangent of an angle is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So then, we can write that tangent of angle theta over 2 equals 8.6 divided by 10.15. To find the angle theta over 2, we will take tangent inverse of 8.6 over 10.15. Then theta over 2 is approximately 40.3 degrees. Now to find theta we need to multiply this angle by 2 and we will get that angle theta is approximately 80.6 degrees. So we found angle theta and the problem is completed. I hope you liked the video, please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.